These photos from four years ago are Linda Records' reminder of the horsefly bite that almost killed her. They called my husband in and said, I think you need to bring the children in to see her. I'm not sure that she's going to make this. I'm not sure she's, we can get on top of this. It was terrifying and I wouldn't want another family to have to go through what we went through, to be honest, it was awful. The problem was septicemia. The bigger problem was the doctors couldn't find an antibiotic which would work. And I know by the next morning they said it was 3,000. And by the next day it was 30,000. So they then started saying this infection is overwhelming your body, we need to get on top of it. Eventually they did, but Public Health England says there's been a big increase in the number of people dying from drug-resistant infections. The current estimate is 5,000 patients every year. They're even using words like apocalypse. Um, by about 2050, we think that uh, the deaths from antibiotic resistance are likely to reach the sort of levels of diabetes and cancer combined. Um, and I think people don't realise just how commonly used they are. It's not just about routine uh, infections. If people go to hospital, if they have an appendicitis, a caesarean section, or you're having chemotherapy, uh, you need antibiotic cover. And if it's not there, we will have very many more deaths in the future. But the people I spoke with are getting the message. I think every time we go for children or babies, they pretty much never give yeah. them. They'll tell us to leave them. Too much of it, that will not good for the health. Yeah. But is 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 necessary to have it. Do you think they're given out too much? Too yes. Too I personally think they are. Yeah. I mean, I I only use antibiotics when I actually have to, which Infection. is yeah, which is very very rare to be honest. That's music to the ears of doctors, and Linda agrees. If they say, go home, take a week off, go to bed, drink lots, try that and listen to them and not say, oh, yeah, but my work's more important, I need to get up to London, I need an antibiotic for this chest, because it might not help you anyway, and then it might mean that when you do have something very seriously wrong like I did, they might not work for you. She had an amazingly close call with a drug-resistant infection, but Linda, thankfully, lived to tell the tale. Simon Viger, 5 News.